Hopper TV coming to you from Genoa, Italy. We are starting out at the Plaza of Ferrari. So we've got a nice uh, downtown city center here. There's actually a major cruise port here for those of you who do cruises all around uh, the Mediterranean. They even have a ferry that will take you to Tunisia. And here is a look at the Tunisia ferry alongside several cruise ships. So big ferry cruise ship port right here in Genova. So we're going to walk around Genova. It's about 7 o'clock in the evening. Sunset's around 8. Middle of um, April. And we are going to check out this town. Have any of you guys ever been here before? I've just stopped through on my way to the Cinque Terre, and they also have another town around here called the uh, called Portofino. Look at this fountain. I believe tomorrow I'm either heading to Milan or uh, Florence on the train. I just arrived today from Nice, France on the train. It was probably the slowest train that I've seen so far. But here's a really good view of the uh, fountain and the plaza of Ferrari. Okay. All right, let's cruise through here. Uh, there is nearby here the Christopher Columbus house. Uh, for those of you who intend to visit, you may find that to be interesting. Uh, one thing I did notice right off the bat with Genoa, aside from the slower than usual train, uh, the older train actually, uh, no Uber. So when you get off at the train station, you might be thinking, oh well, I'll just flag down a taxi or an Uber. Well, if you're not from here, it's not going to be as easy as you thought. I'm staying at the Holiday Inn. Thankfully, those guys just simply call someone up and within two minutes they're there. That's the most convenient that I've had with public transport or taxis here. So we're going to head down towards the waterfront now. I've barely eaten anything because the train ride literally took four and a half hours. There is the Davis Henry at Ambrosio. Italy is just uh, an amazing place. I mean, <laughs> so is the south of France. So this whole area is spectacular. There's an incredible structure right there. If you look right down there. Okay. There's a lot to see out here. It's really a cool city cooler than I thought. I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect when I came out here, honestly, but pretty glad that I did. I was almost going to just stay back in the hotel and do the video edit for Monaco, because last night when I came back from Monaco, I was so tired. I literally walked that whole country. Oh, man. Look at that. It's like Nice. Oh. Let's see what do we got here. Some winding roads. I'm going to eat some food here really soon. Because, yeah, all I've been eating is I had one big piece of pizza and then some focaccia bread when I was doing my laundry. Because, yeah, I had to do my laundry at a self service place in Switzerland. I paid $80 to do laundry, where I drop it off, it was like $8 per item, and like $4 per boxers. Totally not gonna pay $80 again. But I did it self-service here, it cost me around $12, or 12 euro. But we've gotten closer to the uh, waterfront. So you're gonna be going through these windy, pathways, alleyways, as you get closer and closer to the waterfront. But inside of Genoa, it's like 
thin roads. I don't even think a car would fit. Such a old school, classic city. With that being said, when you do get your hotel, don't expect your hotel to be uh, modern. I'm staying at the Holiday Inn, which is, you know, it's up there. And uh, it's, it's, they've, they've changed the carpet, okay? But the Novotel, for example, probably hasn't been modernized for a lot, like 30 or 40 years. Which is fine. I mean, that's why you come to Italy, right? But when it comes to comfort or modern amenities, just don't expect that here. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's uh, historical. What do you guys think? Should I go to Israel? Jerusalem? I'd love to see Jerusalem. All right, so we are at the actual waterfront now. Here's the Big O. We got some Centro Congressi. So yeah, they got some big ships in here. Some of you may be actually coming out here, depending on if you're coming for a cruise or taking a ferry boat to Tunisia or across the Med. Sun is getting ready to set. Beautiful evening. People actually have their coats on. They're from here. I'm surprised they have their coats on. It was kind of hot today. Big O Cafe looks popular. Wow, okay. Genoa is a lot more happening than uh, originally suspected. Roadie Jet take you. Dang, Genoa is actually real pretty. Maybe when you're here, you might not want to skip it. A lot of people come here for the Cinque Terre, or they go to Portofino. So it's easy to skip. What's that? It should be like a street festival. So there's the aquarium. I'm not going there, obviously. Centro Congressi over there. Okay. Shall we head up? village or go check out that pirate ship you can kind of see it from here I don't know let's go over this way we got some food let's go see what's up with the food cool burgers More bread, focaccia. I'm telling you, when you come here, be ready to eat a lot of pizza and focaccia. All right, we are going away from the waterfront now. And we're walking back into the old town of Genoa. Near San Giorgio. San Giorgio. What do we have going on here? The back side of the festival. This is a busy area right underneath the uh, highway there. So I've decided to stop in here and get some chicken hut. It's just like a fast food. And it's gonna be good. So it's halal. I really love this kind of food. And it was only six euros for this big plate and that soda. 
lemon soda. Well, I was headed back into the town, but that sunset just keeps pulling me back. Plus, I just had some halal food. Good to know this is where I can get a taxi when I'm done. And I just had some rice and chicken. That was good, man. Some halal food. I, I don't know what the cuisine was. I'd imagine it was like Turkish, maybe. I know halal is like kosher. I eat that food all the time, and it's always good. <clears throat> so thanks to those guys. What is this? It's a hotel. Veronese. That's a unique road. Where does that take me? Uh, okay. Should I try it? That's the hotel. Oh no! Oh, here's the hotel. You know, I was checking the weather in Florence, Milan, because Italy literally has so many places <laughs> to film. Like, I could spend a, a month here and still not get it all, even though it's, like, such a small country, right? But, uh, it's real interesting. But the weather, the weather channel app that I've been using has not been forecasting very good in a, in a negative way. And they got some real tight corridors over here. Look at this. I'll just keep cruising. I really have no idea where I'm at. Oh, I know where I'm at. I'm in the old town. And Genoa actually goes up towards the hill a lot more. So let's see if I can figure out the direction to take. Up ahead here is uh, Piazza San Lorenzo Cathedral. <laughs> oh my gosh, what in the world is that? It's like a tall tower. Can you guys see how high the buildings go. Back on the main drag here. Headed towards San Lorenzo, I think. Yeah, I've had so much pizza today. I was excited when I saw something that wasn't bread. It was rice. All right, now we are at the Piazza, uh, Piazza Giacomo Matteotto. This is the plaza here. Look at that structure though, right down there. Well, let's go through these streets again. It's a little bit different angle. It's like closed alleys, pathways, no cars. It's a city built for walking, not driving. somewhere. What do we got here? Commune de Genova. Is it Genova? Or is it Genoa? Maybe you say it Genova. Pronounce the E-O like a, like a V. Oh man, 
Look at this place. Look at that. The steeples of churches, cathedrals, and palaces. This is Giardini. Shall we go through here? All right. This is Restaurante Brasseria. Okay. More restaurantes. Pizzeria Manjare. All right. Well, we're back at the piazza where the show began. Almost there. All right, guys, we have come back full circle where we originated. Right in front of the Miracle Fountain there, pumping tons of water. Still hungry. You know, I just ate. <clears throat> All right, well, it's getting dark, so I guess you know what that means. It's time to wrap this up, and we will see you guys on the next one from Italy. Stay tuned. Watch some more of these other videos from Italy. Sicilian red wine. It tastes good. Well, I got medium. That is how you prepare a steak, I would say.